Good morning everybody, this is Urban Tactical Survival here, Sean, with another video here. I got a new tent I wanted to open up and test out today, this morning. So, I needed to uh, break it out, it hadn't been in it, and I uh, wanted to see just uh, how roomy and uh, uh, cushiony it would be on the insides. The tent I'm talking about is the B4. It's a two-man, three-season tent. Uh, so with no further ado, I'm going to break away from the camera, reposition the camera, and we're going to start to unravel this and set it up and see what it looks like. So don't go away. Stay tuned. Okay. I'm back. And I got the tent set up over here. I'm gonna break it out of this pack. It's a stuff sack. Mosquitoes out here are treacherous this morning. But I did spray some DEET. Got some off down here with some DEET in it, so. Uh, but they're still flying around, it gets on my nerves. But anyway, I don't know about all you guys out there, but uh, I particularly, I like to prolong the lifespan of the bottom of a tent. Uh, after some use, you will tend to see wear and tear on the bottom or the bathtub of your tent. So I like to put down a tarp as an extra measure. So I went to a local Walmart and got the Ozark. It's the uh, 6x8 heavy duty tarp. So I'm going to lay this down and eventually I may just cut it to the same dimensions and the footprint of the tent. So it will sit, the tent will then sit directly on top of this and there will be no overlap of a tarp. So I'm going to break this out first, lay it down, and then I'm going to set the tent up on top of it. So don't go away, I'll be back. Okay, so there's the tarp laid out, 8x10, which is a pretty good sized tarp for a survival situation if you needed it. But for this application this morning, I'm using it as a ground sheet for my tent. And to be full, I'm gonna break this out and open it up and set it up on top of that tarp just for good measure and extra protection on the bottom of the bathtub of the tarp of the uh, tent.
I knew that wasn't going to last long. Okay, so as you can see, it's a full mesh design uh, tent. All four sides are fully meshed out uh, with one door in the front. So that gives it great ventilation when you need it. Uh, the fly I'm going to put on and we'll see what that looks like with the fly. Uh, let's take away and get off the tripod and I'll bring a closer look to see what the tent setup looks like as you can see this tent has these clips that clip on the poles it's a clip to the pole design and then up here at the top you have these orange straps that you tie up that meet right here in the middle and you tie them up as you see here is one large door take a look at it all the way around the poles clip down into the strap they sit down into this little grommet here and they snap on with these little clips take a look all the way around it's a full mesh tent design the bathtub is a good four inches tall from the floor very roomy inside from what I can see so I'm going to stake this out and get the fly on and then we're going to take a closer look on the inside I will have to fold some of the tarp under because it's overlapping about by four inches, five inches all the way around. So I'm going to fold those on the, under and we're going to stake it down.
So. Ooh, there we have it. B5, B full, three season tent. These mosquitoes out here are murder. I must be breakfast for them. Let's walk around, take a close look. Up on top, you have a ventilation channel here. You can put up for more extra ventilation. Up top, it's a full fly all the way around. On this side, you have another window for ventilation. You can uh, stake up. All the way around, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight stakeout points that you have to uh, you utilize for the fly. Uh, let's open up uh, the fly door. It's velcroed in two spots. Let's open that up and we see our vestibule is not as large as I like some of them. My other tent has a very large vestibule, but it's uh, it's adequate enough. You get your uh, equipment down in there. Keep it out of the rain. Okay. Door access on the other side over there. If you wanted to, you can tie down both vestibule doors, stake them down, and only use one. So there you have it. Be full. Two man, three season tent. Let's uh, roll back the fly. You have a toggle here that you use to uh, roll back on the fly. You roll that back out of the way. Hard to do this with one hand. So, but you get the gifs of it. You just roll that back. But now I'm going to stuff it back in here. Stuff that right back there. May want to, uh, since the door is on the other side, the opening, I'm going to uh, tie out this door, stake out this door, and crawl in from the other side. So... And we put this back on the tripod and make some adjustments there.
day. So as you see, I've rolled back the other side so you gain access to the inside of the tent through the main door here and use the other side vestibule for storing whatever equipment that you might have with you. Um, it's a nice size tent. It's about uh, I'd say it's a good four by six, four by six size tent. I'm 5'11", so I'll be easy, be easy for me, excuse me, easy for me to get into this tent with no problems with a four by six um, footprint. So let's open it up, climb inside and see what the insides look like. I have to do this quick. I'm gonna get the mosquitoes in here. Okay, I am inside and on my knees, my head is touching the roof of this tent but then again it's not designed for you to be sitting in uh, for comfort in that area it's about a four foot right here to the center from the floor of the tub to the center of the tent as you look around the bathtub is about four inches off the ground There is no pockets, storage pockets on the inside. All but one right here in the corner. As you can see, just right here in the corner. That's all the storage you have. Up here in the roof, you do have a hook. You can hang a light or lantern of some sort for light on the inside if you choose. That's a good spot there, or if you have your, you know, extra bag with your equipment in it, small items like your cell phone, um, things of that nature, you can hang them from a bag up here at the roof of the tent. But the small pocket right here, that's all you have for storage on the inside. This is a very lightweight backpacking tent. Uh, it's designed specifically for shelter and not too much on comfort but at 511 I'm pretty sure I can lay down in this tent stretched out and with no problems as you can see I still have about a foot behind me half a foot of headroom my feet are all the way down at the other end and I still have enough room to be comfortable move around they say a two-man tent that's for emergency situations uh, cram two people in here you or your wife you and a your child or kid small kid uh, but uh, this is comfortable for one person uh, in a backpacking situation long-term uh, backpacking or camping you would not be very comfortable in here with two people I would not suggest that but one person yeah you can I like my other tent for that it's nice and roomy both width and length and width so two people could get inside there and be very comfortable and the headroom is at least about five feet. So inside, I'm comfortable with one person. So it's pretty good. Mosquitoes on the outside trying to get in. Good luck. <laughs> They're not getting in here. So 
let's get outside quickly <laughs> very quickly The zipper on the door is very good. I have not experienced a snag in the in the zipper. It's a very good zipper. Not a YKK, but for this particular type of tent, it is a very good uh, zipper. Like I said, it's mesh all the way around, so in those starry nights, you want to take the fly off, look at the stars, you'll be able to do that with no obstructions at all. Let's get back on the tripod there. Give you a good idea of the height. Top of the tent. Right here, it's right above my waist. And I'm 5'11". So, you're not gonna stand up in this tent at all. You could sit in it and get on your knees in it, but you're not gonna stand in it. So, I'm hoping for some rain and test out the fly. So there you have it. Be full, three season, two man tent. I like it, it's a nice tent. For a quick, over the weekend camping trip for one person I wouldn't try to put two people in this tent with your gear inside the uh, vestibules two people would not be comfortable one person that's plenty I don't know why they call that a two-person tent one person would have plenty of room wiggle room on the inside for cooking on the outside and storage of his uh, equipment in the vestibule. So, there you have it. Your beef firing two man tent, three season. So, this is Sean from Urban Tactical Survival. Till the next time, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It helps out the channel. Give them a thumbs up on the video if you like it. Uh, till the next time, remember, now is the time to prepare. And always remember to check your six.